Now, first to Ivory Coast, where provincial results from the Electoral Commission show the country's current president and its former prime minister are leading in returns from Sunday's vote. VOA West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns has our report from Abidjan. With more than half the votes counted, Ivory Coast's election looks like it's going to a second round runoff. A tally of the returns announced so far shows President Laurent Gbagbo leading in southern provinces and carrying about 35 percent of the vote nationwide. Former Prime Minister Alassane Ouattara is winning northern provinces and also has about 35 percent of the vote so far. Former President Henri Conan Bedier is a close third. He's leading in central provinces and is winning about 27 percent of the vote. If those trends continue, no one will win an outright majority in this first round, and there'll be a second round of voting November 28th. European Union election observers say they've been excluded from some of the vote counting, but on the whole, European Parliament member Christian Preda says it's been a successful poll for Ivory Coast with high voter turnout. Il n'y a pas eu jusqu'au jour d'aujourd'hui, on n'a eu aucun signal de ce type-là de fraude. There has not been any sign of fraud, so on the points of violence and fraud, we've not seen them here. That's extremely important. We're happy to see that the polls have gone ahead in these conditions, but we're forced at the same time to note important difficulties in the way the results were treated and transmitted. The waitful results has added to the country's political tension, with many shops in Abidjan staying closed or closing early for fear of post-electoral violence. Former Ghanaian President John Kufour is an election observer with the Carter Center. He says the post-conflict rules of this vote gave the Electoral Commission more time to ensure that its results are solid enough to withstand any challenge. It must have been in the wisdom of the lawmakers uh, that there should be this uh, drawn period because of where the country uh, was coming from. This country that had been in civil war uh, with great losses. And uh, it's generally known that during elections, people's uh, moods tend to get frayed. And uh, so uh, the makers must have considered imposing this long drawn uh, period for declaration of the results. Uh, so uh, the Electoral Commission would have some space to do the work thoroughly. With the announcement of final results Wednesday, both of the top two finishers begin building political alliances for the second round. President Bogbo has the advantage of incumbency. Watra and Bedier have pledged to join forces in a runoff against the president. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Abidjan.